And we're back with some more Osari Mono. Yeah, like I said, it was 10 seconds. It wasn't that long. Like, so let's get back into it. I ate way too much. I feel like food's gonna come out the wrong way if I open my mouth. I know that feeling. Like right now, I, I know I haven't eaten a lot, but it's like if I try to eat something now, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be right. As I lie down, rubbing my belly, Kwan digs through her bag, searching for something. How can she still move around like that? She ate more than double her own body weight. She really doesn't. Alright, she really doesn't look like she eats as much as she does. Where does it all go with that figure? I mean... You're right. It, she might have a high metabolism, I don't know. Um, what are you doing? She seems to be in a good mood, humming to herself happily. For my dudes. You already know. We already know. For the ladies, forgive me. Forgive me. I didn't say forgive the other dudes, I said forgive me. Oh. But for the dudes, you already know. You already know. If it ain't if it ain't for that club, I don't know what else it would not be for. I mean, are we at low key taking a bath bath? You know what I'm saying? Kwan has a dreamy look on her face. A bath, huh? You can't get a proper one on the road? That's for sure. Oh. Huh? It's a bath, but you can't soak in it? Dang. Press F for respect, my dudes. Put put F in the chat for that respect. Ah, so you put Ah, I see. No hot. no hot tubs then. I prefer a good soak, but a steam bath will send see it sounds pretty good right now. Guess you're right. Now that she mentions it, I did sweat a lot, exerting myself on the street earlier. Too bad about the hot water, but it feels nice to relax and steam. I know that feeling. It helps relax my back. Like, I'm, I'm a very... Um, my muscles seem to get tense real quickly. Especially in the back region, so it's like I use the steam to relax myself and I also use the steam for asthma to like loosen up the mucus. So it, the steam helps me in both ways, so hey, I understand. Alright, I'll go do that then. Kwan makes a noise as if she suddenly remembers something. Are you okay? Then she puts a puts a finger to her chin, deep in thought. Why is she, why is she looking at me like that? Oh, 
I'm looking at you suspiciously. I'm not going to use face cam for this, but just know I'm looking at you suspiciously. So there's no boy and girl section? Oh, I don't mind waiting. My stomach's so full, I don't think I can move from this spot anyway. Besides, I want to relax. Oh, she's so sweet. She pushes a set of clothes into my hand. When did she put those together? Nope. We're good. And I see your face is reddening, so... You're blushing just a little bit, so nah, we're good. I seriously doubt that. I mean, I hope I haven't. Alright. If you insist. I have a weird feeling about this, but it would be rude to refuse her goodwill, so... Alright. Okay, I got it. As I leave the room and head left, a long hallway greets me as promised. The door at the end of the hall opens into something like a changing room, lined with the shelves. Doesn't seem like anyone else is using the bath right now. I should be able to unwind without worrying. I untie my sash and toss my clothes half as half half as early, half as early. See, this see English is not my first language. I can tell. Like I know I grew up with it, but English is not my first language. For sure, I might be born in America, but it's not my first language. I threw my clothes onto some random shelf. I ain't using these big words. Uh, you sure I can't soak in that? Like, oh, hold up. It's for the background, you know what I'm saying? Man, there's there's a certain character. There is a pair. It's just, it's hard to say because I don't want to ruin anything because we're going to meet these characters pretty soon. But just know there's there's there is a certain there is a certain character that I want to see right now, and it would totally match with this. But since it'll we're going to meet them soon. Most of these characters soon. I'm not going to go into it. Not yet. Not yet. And you guys will know who I'll be talking about. Because I'm going to be talking about them a lot. As soon as we get the chance to meet them. I open, the, uh, open another door at the far end of the changing room. And a blast of hot air washes over me. The bath beyond is a spacious for an inn like this. Benches line the wall enough to seat five people. Set into the opposite wall is something like a furnace without an open fencing in, in by the wood. Judging by the heat waves rising from it, you probably pour water over that to make the steam. <sighs> I flop onto one of the wooden benches and let out a deep sigh. The room, room's word surf, suffices me. I'm going to change that word. The room's warmth fills me. I didn't realize how good this would feel. I 
I zone out, staring up at the ceiling and thinking the day's events washing over me. I woke up in a strange place. Then a, monster... then a monstrous creature attacked me. Only for Kuan to save me in the nick of time. And now here I am with no memory, no belongings, no power, no place to go home to, a lot of nothing. What am I going to do? No point over it. No, no point stressing over it. As it stands, I can't do much. I can't do much but trust in Kuan's hospitality. Well, see how things play out. Taking a lad from the bench, ladle the 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 handle thing that that gets the water and does the stuff with it. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Taking the thing from the bench, I throw water over the heating um the thing that heats up the water to make steam. Yeah, I I'm that trusting myself. It's two a.m. I'm on that sleepy route. The hiss of the evaporating um, water and a cloud of steam fills the room, heating the air. Uh, I walk so much, my calves are all swollen. The aches of my feet, too. Oh. A dull pain shoots through my foot when I try to rub the ache away. Perturbed, I lift my foot, looking at the swole to find the source of the pain. Ah! A loud thud interrupts me from the other side of the wall. What the? Did something collapse? Doesn't matter, I guess. I look back. I look back down at the poor swole sole of my foot, rifled with blisters, some of them torn and blooded. Yikes! Yikes, the skin's peeling. Too, I guess we did walk a pretty long way. Probably better not to touch that. Left with no choice, I return to massaging my sore calves instead. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Suddenly, I get the feeling I'm being watched. I glance around the steam-filled room, but of course no one is in here with me. Probably just my imagination. Oh well. Oh well. I should loosen up my other muscles while I'm in here. It's not just my cows I hurt. Here we go. Careful of my feet, I ease myself and stand upright, stretching out my whole body. I can't make that sound. Whoa! What was that? That interrupted the music. Oops, the washcloth. Oops, the washcloth around my waist is. Wait, there's that noise again. Where's that coming from? Um, that didn't sound right. Some kind of Alright, some kind of small animal? Who knows what weird creatures the innkeeper might have around. Well, no big deal. As long as it minds its own business now, I'll start with loosening up. 
<laughs> I can't help but laugh because one, I'm still childish. I am still childish. Of uh, two, <laughs> if you guys haven't connected the dots yet, you will soon, and you'll know why I'm laughing. <laughs> Hey, who said girls don't get those services too? Who said girls don't get those services either? That thing, that thing's making a lot of noise out there. What's with the ruckus? Whatever, next some hip swivels. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Pick up the face. That's not like a cat right there. Something crashes loudly and scampers off. Just animals fighting. I don't really know the season here, but I guess spring must be close. Loosened up, I sit back down on the bitch and surrounded myself to the relaxed itself. Oh, surrendered. Oh, that hits the spot. I'm out the bath. <laughs> yeah, you guys should have connected the dots now. Yeah. If you see why I'm laughing now... Yeah. I return to the room, relaxed and refreshed, to find Kuan sitting in the corner with her back turned. Kuan, I'm out. <sighs> she saw everything. <laughs> What's going on? Nerdfly, she doesn't seem to even notice me. <laughs> when I approach, I can faintly hear her muttering to herself, gaze vaccinated. It sounds like she's saying thwomp thwomp, but it's difficult Ooh. to make out. Come on. I put my hand on her shoulder. Whoa. I'm the one surprised here. Did something happen? Uh, did any other... Oh no, there's... It was just like that, okay. You had a thousand yard stare and you were mumbling like you've seen something awful. What happened? Uh... Come on, it's alright. I already know. You had a photography club moment. It's alright. Girls can have them too. Girls can have them. I mean, it's, it, I won't think any less of you. It's fine. You can have your photography club moments. Us dudes will have ours. Which reminds me. We're getting one up right up. Like, real soon. I'm not ending the episode without that photography club moment. Why are you averting your eyes? Hmm. Despite... Her words, Kwan is in fact looking entirely to the to one side of me. No, you definitely are. I round on her. I round on her and place myself in in front of her eyes, but she turns away again. And your face is bright red. What's the deal? I lean down and put my face right in front of hers. 
she still refuses to make eye contact. Instead, her cheeks turn even redder and her eyes are bloodshot like she's been drinking. Your eyes are red too. Are you feeling... What? Huh? Out of the blue, Kuan grabs me and tosses me away like a ra rag doll with a casual wish with that casual strength of hers. Flump. <laughs> My body flies through the air, landing squarely on the bed. What are you? I mean, if I if I said something, like you would have acted a certain way, and I didn't want you to treat me any differently. The excuse I would give, but Hawk, what do you got? She Kuan pulls my feet upward and inspects the soles. Tell you what? Was there something I need to tell her? Kuan ignores the question, frowning deeply at the sight of my ruined souls. If you said something, I wouldn't have made you strain yourself this much today. What? I did tell you. Repeatedly. Technically, he did. He, he low-key tried to tell you, like, hey, I'm tired. Can we take a break? And not most of them was in his head. He literally tried to tell you, like, can we take a break? I'm tired. But then you 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 did your girl thing. You you did that thing that hurts men's pride, and we keep it pushing. So it's not entirely your fault because we say yes because we want to look good. But at the same time, you, if someone tells you you're tired, like come on tells you they're tired like come on you should at least think about it I run through the days events in my mind I did gripe and complain several times I he did he did mention breaks a few times but then again that that's where I said the man's pride thing he gave signs, but it's like, it's like women giving signs to men, like, hey. Hey, you should have noticed. But you didn't say, hey, I gave you the signs. So. Alright. Actually, come to think of it, I never complained aloud. I only ever muttered my gripes. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I will hold still for a moment. We're good. Kwan takes several small pills from the pouch at her waist and puts them into her mouth. Chewing. Wait, 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 hold on, what? Kwan takes several pills from the pouch at her waist and puts them into her mouth, chewing. What's that? Kwan only smiles, takes the chewed up glob from her mouth. And smearing it on my feet. That is gross. This will sting a bit. We need all photography club moments. All, all of them. I can't figure out why, but a chill rolls down my spine at the sight of that cheerful smile. Two my fingers works the substance into my feet, paying special attention to where the, the skin feels. Is she is she applying a uh, saliva or something? It's definitely stinging. Maybe stinging isn't quite the word. It itches and tingles more than it stings. It, 
it's probably the medicine, but and suddenly I can't contain the urge to I can't contain the urge to scratch my itching feet. But when I reach to them for them, he only bats my hands away. <laughs> <laughs> I make that same sound too. So that's why she was smiling. God, it itches. It itches. That should just about do it. It's settled down after a while. So hang in there until then, okay? Dang, that bitch, she got me reading her lines again. Still smiling, Kuan expertly wraps my feet in tight bandages, sealing it into the salva. Kuan sets an odd ledger ledgered jar next to my pillow. What's that? She removes the jar, profaned lid. The inside looks to be packed with white ashes. Then nestling a small piece of charcoal in the ash ashes in the ash. She lights it and wait and waits for it a moment. Finally, another small black pill goes on top of the lit charcoal. A, a moment passes and sweet fruity scents begins to waft from the jar, filling my nostrils. An intense burner, huh? Hmm. I mean, I need that now. Even as Kuan speaks, I can feel the fragrance soothing my mind and dulling my pain. I feel light. <laughs> oh, that's blissful. Ah, uh, we're all good. No, I. No, I'm. I'm good. I'm really, really good. Getting sleepy. There's the four words. Getting sleepy. Eyelids heavy. I'm thinking. My consciousness. She's in the my consciousness swirling away into oblivion. What is this music? Hey, y'all wanna keep hearing this? Well, it's not happening. We have to end it here. We're we're reaching that thirty mark, minute mark. But we'll be back more with some Otarimono. So, 
Guess it ain't all bad. Hey, this is a good way to leave you guys out, so hey. I guess I catch you guys later for technically today's recording. Peace.